tinnitus. Wow. The invisible stealer of quality of life. It is one of the absolute hardest conditions I've seen in my 25 years. There is a group of people that we can help though. Inside of your brain where your, your sound is processed, the volume's just too loud. And your brain is constantly filtering out noises, but in the world of tinnitus, it, that, that, that gauge is screwed up. It's not calibrated correctly. A grandfather comes to me and says, my daughter needs to go back to work. I'm in charge of child care of my grandchild. But a problem was this, the baby crying is the same frequency is the tinnitus in my ear and I can't hear that because I hear that sound all the time. Is that you? Do you hear a sound all the time? Does it keep you up at night? We started to work with this gentleman. Using neurofeedback, we were able to go inside and teach the brain that volume is not normal and it came down. He came in, a grown man came in to me and he's crying and I saying, what's going on? Why are you crying? And he says, because I can now hear my grandchild for the first time and when they need me, I can help them. How does tinnitus steal your life from you? What, how would your life be different? It's a very difficult condition. The first is a consultation. You come in, we talk about it. I need to know what you've tried in the past. There's many causes. If I think you're a good candidate, then we do an EEG. The EEG looks at your brain and says, what's going on on the inside? How is your brain processing that information? If all that jives and it looks good, then we can look to try. Our success with tinnitus is 20, 25%, but guess what? The rest of the world is 0%, 1%. I want to take the buzzing, the ringing out of your head. The next step is for you to see, are you even a good candidate? There is very good research to show that neurofeedback is one possible solution to help you get your life